This is The Feed, brought to you by Insert Sponsor here. Okay, people, let's follow up with last week's story. Tech companies have been outspoken about President Trump's immigration order, many calling it a Muslim ban. With tech going political, you can expect a tech CEO to likely be in the White House one day. 97 tech companies appeal to the courts, calling the travel ban discriminatory. The big names are mostly here, Apple, Google, Lyft, Uber. But strangely missing from the list are Amazon and Elon Musk. Are different tribes starting to form in Silicon Valley? I don't know, but looks like some spicy developments are coming. Now to today's top story. It's the last gift you want to receive on Christmas, but thousands of Americans put in the hard work to get coal in the stockings of bratty children. The coal industry has been shrinking rapidly since the 1980s, but you wouldn't have known that when it became a hot button issue in our last election when President Trump promised to bring jobs back. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that there are currently 50,000 coal jobs in the U.S., a steep drop from 1985 where there were nearly 180,000 coal jobs. But you have to ask how much we really care about this group in America, especially after the House voted to dismantle regulations that stop coal debris from being dumped into streams. Republican leaders called the Obama regulations an undue burden on the industry. But is a contaminated water an undue burden? Now, viewer, you may be wondering what this has to do with tech. The argument here is between jobs and clean energy. Maybe tech can find a middle ground. Down in Kentucky, where coal jobs are at its lowest since 1898, a certain tech company is swapping out mining coal for mining data. Interrupt has created the Tech Hire Initiative Eastern Kentucky, or Techie, to aid job losses by paying students to learn how to code. Interrap has received almost $3 million in funding and had 1,000 job applicants in August. Interrap is also seeking to fill 400 job roles through the program. This is a tiny dent in what is a much larger vacuum of joblessness. But this is a small story in how a tight-knit community with a blue-collar work ethic can learn and find new opportunity. And Lord knows we can use a little feel-good news. You know what the Uber experience is really missing outside a charming conversation? Advertisements. Vugo, a startup that originated in Chicago, is suing the city to gain the right to place tablets and Ubers that will display ads. Chicago voted in 2014 to keep ads out of ride-sharing vehicles. Vugo believes this unfairly benefits the cab industry. They also say the ads will earn drivers more money. Don't we, like, see enough ads already? Finally, our Technori shout-out goes to Ballot Ready, which was created by UChicago alumni. The app will teach you who and what is on the ballot so you can deliver an informed vote in the 2018 midterm elections. The education app has earned over $700,000 in its seed round and is planning to expand into all 50 states to make sure those down-ballot elections don't go overlooked. That's it for the feed. The world is a scary place. Don't forget to feed.